Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like and a comment and watch the video to the very end. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move and install Steam game from one hard drive to another. The main purpose of this is to save storage space if you have multiple computers. That way you don't have to install the Steam game on a local drive. And also too, if you're on a metered uh, internet plan, where you get charged a fee if you go over a certain amount of bandwidth this will save with that so in order to start we're going to go to the top menu we're going to go to steam and we're going to go to settings then from here you're going to see a download section and then we're going to click on where it says steam library folders so from here you're going to see i already have two drives set up and what I'm going to show you first is I'm going to show you how to actually add in a install or uh, a, a, a directory if you don't already have it set up. So we're going to click on this plus button here. Then from here we're going to go and pick one of our drive letters. There's a Z drive and I don't have anything currently on there as far as Steam. I'm going to click that and I'm going to go to add. You'll see here that there are no games on there. And of course, if you want to go and take that drive out, you can just go in and go into the little um, options button here. And then you see it says browse folder, make default, repair folder and remove drive. So I'm going to go to the last one and go to remove drive and then it goes away. So from here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to actually move my Resident Evil 3 copy from my C drive to my extra storage drive. So to do that, we're going to click on Resident Evil 3. We're going to click on this button here um, to go and select it. You're going to see two options. You're going to see uninstall and move. So we're going to hit move and we're going to move it from our C drive to our K drive. So it only go, it's only going to show you the drives that are available. So we're going to hit move. And then from here, it's going to move uh, the Resident Evil 3 installation. Currently, I have my Steam set up to where I have my all of my cloud saves in the cloud so i'm not actually moving it in, in my cloud data so if i were to play it on my other computer i'll be able to actually uh, resume my progress but again the main purpose of this is to save on storage space if you have a external drive or a, even a ssd drive that's external this will kind of help um save space and prevent you from having to re-download games over and over again now one caveat to this is that you're only limited to the speed of the drive itself so the terabyte so the two terabyte drive i have here is is actually a um it, it's a regular hard drive so it's going to be a little bit slower than if i were to install it install it on my solid state drive but i'm okay with that because from what i've been researching it only affects the the any kind of loading as far as the game it doesn't affect the performance of the game itself so i'm okay with that trade-off Okay, so once it's moved over, you're gonna see where it says all content move successfully. And we're gonna click we're gonna close it. Then we're gonna hit the exit button. And then we're gonna hit OK. Now one important thing about using external drives when you uh remove them from one computer, you wanna make sure that you safely r remove the hardware. The reason why is because in a lot of cases the drive will be doing something in the background. And although you may not have something open, you'll have an instance where uh, if you don't remove it correctly, you can accidentally mess up the drive or cause corruption within the drive. So all what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, your desktop and you're going to go to your tasks and you're going to go to these options that safely remove hardware and eject media. And you're going to click eject uh, the hard drive. Now I'm gonna give you a, a little tidbit. Um, for some, now if for some reason it doesn't eject, you wanna uh, go through all of your um, open programs and close everything out that may be using this particular um, software. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the particular hard drive. As a last case scenario, you can always just log out out of your computer or log out of the account or even restart the computer, and from there it should reset everything. And then from there you can go and safely remove the hard drive that way so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did uh leave a like leave a comment and you have a blessed day thank you